Webb Du Bois once said, the cost of liberty is less than the price of repression. A profound thought from a man whose life was rooted in the pursuit of liberty and justice. Du Bois's story begins in the small town of Great Barrington, Massachusetts, where he was raised in a community that valued education. His intellectual journey took him to Fisk University, a beacon of African-American scholarship in the heart of the South. Here, Du Bois was confronted with the harsh realities of racial prejudice, an experience that profoundly shaped his worldview. His thirst for knowledge led him to Harvard University, where he became the first African-American to earn a doctorate. This was not just a personal achievement for Du Bois, but a monumental stride for the African-American community. Thus, the intellectual giant was born, ready to challenge the status quo and fight for the rights of the African-American community. A scholar and an activist, Du Bois was a man of many talents. His name is synonymous with the fight for civil rights, particularly his pivotal role in the founding of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP. It was here that Du Bois tirelessly advocated for the rights of African Americans, using his voice and pen as powerful tools for change. But Du Bois was not just an activist. He was also a groundbreaking scholar whose work continues to shape our understanding of race and social dynamics. His seminal works, The Philadelphia Negro and The Souls of Black Folk, provide an in-depth exploration of the African-American experience, breaking down barriers of ignorance and prejudice. These works, steeped in both rigorous scholarship and lived experience, have left an indelible mark on academia and beyond. In his pursuit of equality, Du Bois became a beacon of hope, inspiration and resilience. Du Bois's legacy is not just in his works, but also in the lives of those he inspired. As we delve deeper into the later years of his life, we find a man unafraid of controversy, a visionary who challenged the status quo at every turn. In the twilight of his career, Du Bois's political views became increasingly radical. He advocated for world peace, championing the cause of nuclear disarmament and criticizing the Cold War's escalating tensions. His vocal opposition to racial segregation and imperialism brought him under scrutiny, leading to his indictment during the McCarthy era. Unbowed, Du Bois continued to voice his beliefs, his resilience emblematic of his lifelong fight for equality. In the early 60s, disillusioned with the state of racial politics in America, Du Bois emigrated to Ghana. There, he continued his scholarly pursuits, working on the ambitious Encyclopedia Africana, until his death in 1963. His passing marked the end of an era, but not the end of his influence. Indeed, the legacy of Webb Du Bois extends far beyond his lifetime. His writings, particularly The Souls of Black Folk and Black Reconstruction in America, continue to be seminal texts in African-American studies and sociology. His concept of double consciousness, the internal conflict experienced by subordinated or marginalized groups in an oppressive society, remains a foundational idea in discussions about race and identity. Moreover, Du Bois's work as one of the co-founders of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, or the NAACP, left an indelible mark on the civil rights movement. His advocacy for equal rights, his dedication to the upliftment of African Americans through education and economic empowerment, continue to inspire generations of activists and scholars. A man ahead of his time, Webb Du Bois remains a key figure in our understanding of race, equality, and the pursuit of liberty. His life's work stands as a testament to his belief in the inherent dignity of all people, a beacon for those championing social justice and human rights. His legacy, like the man himself, endures, a testament to the power of intellect, the strength of conviction, and the enduring quest for justice and equality.